Had to work. It stopped you brooding. I couldn't, dear. I couldn't face it. I can't face all them girls asking me how my husband is, and I can't tell them because I, I don't see him anymore. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm going to do for him. Oh, oh. Well, I'm here if you need me. Right. That'd be cool. <sighs> right, I'll leave you to it then. I'll ask you to come over and see if you need me. Oh, hey! Oh, so where are you two tivers going today then? We're going to the pun fair, Martin. Oh, I yeah. Well, if you want that big dipper, hold tight. You don't want him falling off, do you? <laughs> it's all right, love. I'm on it. Here, yeah. get oh, some ice cream. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll see you, love. Right, love. See Have you. a nice time. Bye-bye. Right, then, we're going to the pun fair. Uh, Grandad's out, Sarah. When are we going to see him then? He's going to be at hospital by now. Um. Well, uh, your granddad doesn't live here anymore, Nicky. Why not? Nicky! No, it's all right, Gail. Come here. He wants to um, live, a, live on his own, just for the moment. Because of his work? No, um, your grandma and your granddad haven't been getting on very well lately, and uh, it does happen to grow up, you know. Doesn't he love you anymore? Uh, let's just say that's what he wants at the moment, though. I still love you, Grandpa. Oh, that's nice, love. Yeah, me. Oh. Well, then, if you two both still love me, we've nothing to worry about anymore, have we? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, Gail. Honestly, I am. Of all the mornings. It's all right. No harm done. I've had Sally done some things wrong. No! He hasn't. Sally, take it to be taking Sarah to story time at the library. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we will, yeah. Uh, would you drop these off for me? Pay what we owe them. Nicky's had them out for two weeks overdue. Right, no problem. And uh, if you've got a minute, there's a pile of kids washing upstairs. Will you stick it in the machine? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll see to that, yeah. Nicky's going to Ian's for his tea tonight, so you needn't worry about him. I'll be back at the usual time. If I'm not, don't panic. OK. <laughs> And you two, behave yourselves. Your baby's good. Yes, I believe that. I'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Nicky, you're supposed to be dressing him, not torturing him. He likes it. He might. I don't. Sarah, breakfast. Nicky, hurry up, will you? We can eat then. I don't want Sally to catch us before we've washed up. What? What? Mayo. Oh, yes, very nice. Look at your arms. Go and put them outside and get washed. Just have a look, Sarah. You can eat snails, you can eat them with gas. Yeah. yeah. All right, then, let's put them on your toast, yeah. eh? Give them a... Well, then, take them outside and wash your hands. I'll get it. Oh, who the heck? David, you stay there. Sally, oh, no. Sarah, be quick. Hiya. Has my watch stopped? Oh, I didn't want to be late again, Gail. I felt terrible. I'm not even dressed. Martin's just gone to work. Got some snails. Let's have a look. Oh, aren't they smashing? They're going to have them for breakfast. Sarah, I won't tell you again. Now take them outside and get washed. Shall I do the breakfast and you go and get yourself ready? No, it's all in hand. If you want to do something, you can get David dressed, seeing as Nicky's not competent. Oh, yeah. Then why haven't you done it? I'll do it. Oh. I'm sorry, Gail. I came because I thought I could help you. You know, make up for last week. I feel invaded. Well, shall I go? No. Not now, Uriah. See to the breakfast. We'll get dressed. It'll not mend. I'll have to chuck it. I know. I had a look at it, too. Nicky's not a... Shut up, you. I don't know what you were doing with the football in here in the first place. Well, nor do I, Gail. I did say. And you must have mixed that up. Who's hungry? Yeah, that doesn't mean to say you can play football in the living room. I wasn't. I dropped it. That was all. Yes, from a great height. Well, she should have cut me my dinner. She was stuck in front of the telly all morning. Listen, Nicky, I'm not having you talking about me like that. That's true. Well, go on. Upstairs. Mm. Upstairs! I'm sorry, Gail, but honestly, he's been a right little so-and-so. Right. I know. You know, it's ever so difficult being here on my own with four kids. It's a lot to cope with. I know. I've got three of them on my own most of the time. 
Go on, Sarah. Set the table. Be half an hour before we eat. But I don't think that means we'll be having a football match in the meantime. Well, now, aren't you a clean little girl? We're spinning bath. I know. And what do we do when we've had a bath? Go to bed. Oh. <laughs> I like it in storage. You can. Just give me a minute. No, no, come on now, can't I do something? I mean, some ironing or anything. I thought that's why I was here. Yeah, you can read to Sarah. Oh. Go get your book, Grandma, I'll read to you. Yeah, go on. Look, but not a long one, sweetheart, because I promised to meet Grandad Alf in the Rovers. Ooh, someone's made a mess of this. Kevin, tell him made him sin it because he had his overalls on. What, his dirty overalls? Yeah. Oh, what, dear, dear. All oh, right, it's not even today. Yeah, I'm not worried about the newspaper. I mean, well, I think Sally should know, but I mean, in a garage mechanic into your living room in his dirty old rose. Garage mechanic? It's her husband. I can hardly ban her from seeing him. Now, what's that? That current. I don't think it is. I think it's oil. We weren't sat there. We were sat there. Mm. Oh! I see him, please. It's all right. I don't mind. Now, here, come here. Try telling me that isn't oil. I don't think it is. I think it's dirt. Yeah, oily dirt. Yes, he was sit here, was he, Nicky Love? Yeah. But on a newspaper. Sally made him sit on a newspaper. Yes, well, a newspaper is not going to cover everything, is it? Now, it's there, here. Look, you've got the evidence for yourself. Now, do you know, I would have these professionally cleaned and send Sally the bill if it were me. Yeah, and then you'd be looking for someone else to look after your children. <laughs> it's a lot, man. I don't care, Gail. It's the principle. Oh, I haven't got any of them. <laughs> Oh, you're going to read to Sarah? Yes, of course. Come on, my darling. You come and sit with Grandma. That's if we can find somewhere clean to sit. Somewhere where we're not going to both get covered with oil. Come on, where's your... Listen, girl, before I go, I don't know if you've noticed, but, well, David's walking a little bit for me, and I think those shoes are getting a bit too tight for him. Uh, right. Well, um, let's see what I can do about it. All right. Great. Come on, kids. Come on, let's go. Say goodbye. Oh, yeah, the whole family together, just like Christmas. I thought you liked it when she brought the kids in. Well, I don't. It's unsettling for the kids and it's a nuisance for me. It's not unsettling. It might be to start with, but they're just as happy to be with her now as they are to be with you. Thank <laughs> you, Oh, look, I, I didn't... No, you're probably right. I mean, they're probably better off with her, aren't they? She checks the shoe size. No, you don't. In fact, I don't know why her and Kevin don't just move in. I mean, if you're perfectly at home there, judging by the stains he leaves on the settee. Bye then, bye everybody. Bye, bye, bye darling. See you now. Bye bye, darling. Come on. Hey. Old Ivy, I trust her to make Don feel even worse about it. <laughs> if she were more concerned with getting him to a priest than looking at the part she played. Oh, well, you could understand that, can't you? Eh? If she convinces him it's a sin, she tells herself it's his fault, not hers. Clears her conscience, oh, doesn't oh, it? Oh, I don't think she's that hard. <laughs> <sighs> oh, didn't know you were thinking of treating me. Sure, I wish I could, love. You know, 30 quid of this lot's going on books on the way to town tomorrow, if you can believe it. How many books? Two. 30 quid for two books? No, I don't. I'll get it. All right, love. I only standard textbooks as well, but I need them. Don't be over a barrel in that place, I tell you. Mm. I could buy a suitcase full for that. Oh, aye, yeah. A couple of second-hand Barbara cartlids, maybe. <laughs> Hi. I've put some up for the dinner on the uh, top shelf of the fridge. Oh, right. <laughs> and if you tell David his fried potatoes are hot crisps, he'll scream for more. Oh, <laughs> I'll try that on Rosie. <laughs> I'm going to tell Auntie Sally about Kevin's overalls, Mumba. What's this? Uh, well, it was nothing. Sarah just found a spot of grease on the chair. Wanted to know where it had come from. Well, Granny Audrey had found it. She blamed it on me too. I told her Kevin did it. I didn't know there'd been any grease stains. Sally, don't worry about it. It was nothing. Are you sure? I wouldn't have mentioned it. Come on, you lot. Get yourself sorted before I go to work. I tell you what, Gail will go mad if she knew this lot was in here. Shh. Oh, better go and get Nicky from under that escort. Don't let me in trouble, do it, Sarah? He's always in trouble. I'll fetch him. Yeah, you look after her, Oh, you come here with Daddy, eh? Nicky! Yeah. Don't touch anything, will you? Or your mum will be up your throat again. You and mum friends? Yeah, of course we are. I think. Why? You were arguing last night. We weren't arguing. 
Well, we were, I suppose. Friends can fall out as well, just like anyone else. Might fall out with me. Is that about money? Well, that's just between you and him, love. Do you know, there's an old saying that says, tell the truth and shame the devil. And if you're telling the truth, you just stick to it. Let Martin think what he likes. Come on, let's go up and see Kevin. If I tell you the truth, well, I've shamed the devil. What? Well, Martin said I stole the money. I didn't. I only borrowed it. To know why, Nicky? Why did you take it? I don't know. We don't keep you short. You get your pocket money, and if you want anything else, you come to me or Martin and you ask. You do not steal it. I was only borrowing No, it's it. not borrowing, Nicky. It's stealing when you take something without asking. You know that. Well, at least I thought you did. I thought you knew better. I'm very disappointed. I'm sorry. Yes, I hope you are, Nicky. And it's not to happen again. Never. All right? Yeah. Going up to bed. Please don't bed. Right. Uh, hi, Nicky. Hey, did you win? <laughs> oh, that bad was it. What's up? Uh, first ball or something. <laughs> Sarah, go upstairs and wash your hands and face, darling. You can do that, can't you? What's going on? That money you lost. Nicky took it. Ah, you see, it wasn't my imagination. Yes, all right, Martin. Right, I shall go and have a word with Master no, Nicky. Not tonight. Tomorrow, if you want. Not tonight. <laughs> I've said it all. <laughs> 